Hello, scientific writers. In this video, we are going to talk about the NIH grant application review process. So you might have wondered, after I submit my grant proposal, what do the reviewers look at? How do they come about getting a score for my proposal? How is my proposal evaluated compared to the other proposals? And what are the things that the reviewers are looking for? So today we're going to have an overview of that process, and I'm going to tell you some things that if you keep in mind as you're writing your proposal, you will have a better proposal that has a higher chance of getting funded. The NIH review process is designed to give each proposal a score. Now the score is going to be coming from different scorable elements. And I like to think of each of these scorable elements as pieces of a pie. Now, if you cut this pie up into five pieces, each of those pieces will represent a scorable element in the NIH evaluation process. And as we go over these scorable elements, it's important to keep in mind that all of these pieces of the pie are the same size. In other words, they're all weighted equally. Now, I think a lot of people have a misunderstanding and they feel like some of the scorable elements are just hoops to jump through. They're not as important as the other scorable elements. And these applicants don't pay as much attention to some of the elements and that could put you in the category that's not going to be brought before the review panel. So you won't have a chance to get funded. Now I'm going to quickly go over each of the five scorable elements at a high level, but I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about each of these elements in this video. If you would like to see an in-depth video on each of these scorable elements, let me know in the comments and I can uh, release one of those. The first of the five pieces of pie or the five scorable elements is significance. So why is your work significant to the NIH. How does it further their mission? Why is it important in the grand scheme of the field that you research in? The second scorable element is the investigator or the investigators. So if there's a team of investigators, that's okay. If it's a single investigator, that's okay as well. But even a single investigator might have collaborators or mentors, and they would be included in this investigators piece of the pie. The third one is innovation. So what is innovative about the research that you are proposing? How is it fulfilling a gap, a knowledge gap or a technology gap that exists at this time? Or what is it that's going to be done that's never been done in that way before and that makes it innovative? The fourth piece of the pie is the approach. Now the approach is going to be the biggest part of the uh, research part of your proposal. And so a lot of people have the misconception that the approach is the most important part and that's what the reviewers are going to completely base their decision on. Well that's not true because we have five pieces of pie and they are all equally weighted in the score that I'm going to tell you about in a few moments. Now the approach is where you'll probably get most of your comments from the reviewers. They'll spend the most time on that and they'll make the most comments about the approach, but that doesn't make it the most important part. The fifth scorable element is environment. So this is the piece of the pie where you convince the reviewers that you have the environment to get this work done successfully. You have all the equipment you need, you have all the expertise that you need, and all the facilities, and so forth. Now I want to come back to mention this again. Each piece of the pie, all of these five pieces of pie that you see here, are the same size. They each factor 20% into the initial impact score that each reviewer is going to give your proposal. So make sure you give adequate care to each of these slices of pie. All right, so where can you get more information about what goes into significance, innovation, approach, investigator, and environment? 
Well, when you are applying to the NIH, you're going to be applying to a specific FOA or RFI or other type of funding instrument. If you go into that document and you start reading it section by section, you're going to find a section called Application Review Information. And this section is going to contain the details for the five scorable elements. And for certain, certain funding instruments, there are going to be additional important criteria. Now those additional criteria are not part of the scorable elements. The reviewers can still make comments about those criteria, but it's not going to factor into the score that we're going to talk about here in a moment. All right, we've talked about the five scorable elements, which are the pieces of pie that when you put these five pieces together, you have a whole pie. If you have a pie that has a big chunk missing, then you're not going to compete as well against the pies that are complete. What happens after you submit your application? Let's talk about the process. Once it goes into review, you're going to have three reviewers, and sometimes there are more than three, that are going to read and independently from each other score each proposal that they review for these five elements. So each element is going to get a numerical score between one and nine. One being a perfect score and nine being the worst possible score. And they'll enter that information into the computer system and that will go to the study section manager. Step two is those scores are going to be summed by reviewer. Each of the five elements, they'll add those five scores together to get an initial impact score. So they'll have three different initial scores from the three different reviewers or four scores if you had four reviewers. So within the panel, all of the sums are going to be ranked and the panel manager is going to take the top 50% approximately of those applications as determined by that initial impact score and send them to the full review panel. Now what happens to the lower half? the half that got the, the worst scores. Well, they're not going to go before the review panel and they're going to get a final score that is not discussed. It still got reviewed. Sometimes people think not discussed means not reviewed. It has been reviewed, but it's not going to be discussed by the full panel. And if they're not discussed, there's no chance that they will be funded. So it's really important that you get into the discussion. The next step is that these three original reviewers during the full panel discussion will summarize their reviews for the rest of the panel. And then other panelists who have read the proposal can make additional comments and they will have a discussion. After the discussion, all of the panel members will provide a single numerical score for that proposal. Again, from one being the best to nine being the worst. And then the average of the panel's score will be multiplied by 10, and that number will give you an overall impact score. So the best possible score would be a 10, and the worst possible score would be a 90. And then they will rank all of the discussed proposals by impact score, and they will look for applications that have fundable scores. The applications with fundable scores will go to the next round, which is called the Advisory Council. And the Advisory Council is where the final decision on yes or no for funding will be made. So I would just like to reemphasize getting into the discussion depends on your five scorable elements. So those are the pieces of the pie. They are happening in the very first step. So you have to make sure you address all of these pieces of the pie in order to get a score within the top 50% of all of those that you are competing with so that you can be discussed and get a score at the end. Otherwise, you'll get a score of not discussed. So keeping in mind the importance of these pieces of pie, my advice to you is don't just treat them as forms that you have to submit. For example, your biosketch. The biosketch is how the reviewers are going to evaluate investigator. Okay, so make it look nice, like this piece of pie here. They've put some whipped cream on top and some extra spices. They've made it look beautiful on this nice plate. They even have a fork there. It makes it very inviting for the reviewers. They can see how delicious it looks. All right, I really hope that helped. If so, how about leaving me a like and consider subscribing. I will see you next time and happy writing.